supply this is supplied Mr. I'm glad you're pleased to see me, but you're not to please anymore. Put your paws up. I'm sorry, what did you say? Put your hands up. This is all very romantic. Um, not original crafts, but um, <laughs> and to be calm and uh, not to that is the word I think. And you're smart too. Yeah, I'm smart. I'm smarter than you. Like. And I can shoot better than you. Want the demo? <laughs> yeah, please. Oh. Okay. What's the cause of coming here in my little cottage? Well, it's a long story. Just answer my questions, and you'll do it back to you. Um. Okay. <laughs> Anything you like, um, and all the answers. Um, but uh, before we start, I, I'd like to change my position. You may be comfortable, but I am not. Sit. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, at last, we're in the audience. Uh, I'll tell you the story. Right? I told what you did. Uh, when I was small. small Stop. Uh, Listen to me. I'll show you. Okay. You can say stop or stop. I'm the greatest one. Really? <coughs> Just answer my questions. Do you leave me alone? And if I don't answer. Well, you've got enough senses, right? To not get hurt? I guess so. Yeah. Then answer the question. Do you leave me alone? Oh. Yeah. I'll leave you alone. What's your Christian name, Mr. Jaya? Vincent Charles. So, Mr. Vincent Charles Jaya, do you have a car? No. No? Stop lying, man. I know you have a car. By the way, are you American? Or oh, that's a clear invitation, I think so. Oh, well, you don't need that info, I guess. Just tell me, do you run a car? Yeah, uh, I, I run a car. It's in the, it's in the garage. Beautiful land you know. And do often people take the risk to visit you? Yeah, people have forgotten that. That's the fuck. Baker and the right. green. Okay. And there's a baker and the green brochure and also the milkman, like you. Quite charming, but not a surprising thing like you. Uh, I happen to know that no trace people visit you. Oh. I think you have taken quite a considerable, considerable amount of trouble. Um, no, so you know so much about me. Can you tell something about you too? Well, I could tell you a plenty, but I'm smarter than you. I am smarter. Well, how can you prove it? How can you prove that you're smarter than me? Well, I'm just going to your house and know your name. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, uh, it doesn't need much great brains to come into my little cottage. It's on the hard of the city. Yeah. We can come easily. Well, that's why I gave you. Oh. Is that? Uh, are you a specialist or something or just a joker? Yeah. Like this. I'm a Jew specialist. I don't know who Jews. Oh. Do you have any crime in your list? Yeah. Are you a cult? Hmm. I think you're not so experienced. <laughs> See what is going on. You're not going to do Don't touch me. Oh, oh, okay. I would just think that you are not particularly ready for it. See all the clothes. Well, see this. What do you want to do, actually? Ah, uh, really? And uh, you may get some blood stains on that too. Why? What do you mean, yeah? This is a surprise. Uh, I'm going to kill you. A little harsh, isn't it? Ah, well, I am. Be sorry to do that. But it's my job. I'm okay. I've got 
every reason to be. As Vincent Charles Gerard, this is Mr. VC speaking. And that's not all. Well, you get up for a minute and I'll look at you. Okay. You are not particularly decorative. Well, no. Well, then that goes for you too. I've just got specs to wear and I'll do just like you and get away with it. What about your clothes? They'll get you in trouble if you're not careful. Uh, yours will fit me fine. This seems very interesting. But there is a point of remark that you're missing. It wasn't a tribute to your intelligence. You don't have a very good reason to kill me. So that's what you think. But yes. Look. But are you sure it's going to help you? Look. I've got all of this planned. Last night, I actually had a more... Um, I actually killed a cop by accident and now I'm doing the work of nothing but doing the work of dodging. And this is where dodging is brought you. Well, it brought me to Islesburg. That's where I saw you. And two people looked at you and started talking about you. I listened to their conversation. And then, aren't you a bit of a mystery man? A mystery which I propose to explain. You order your phone and then suddenly disappear. And then come back all right. That's what I want to do. Hearing about you is one of my luckiest breaks. Apparently, you haven't the intelligence to ask me why am I invested in this clock of mystery. Look, as I said, this conversation bores me already. Better be quick. Don't be fool. Don't be a fool. If you should, you'll hang the shop. If not, it's yourself, then it's Vincent Charles tonight. What? Exactly. Your conversation bores me. Oh, don't be a fool. If you shoot me, you'll hang for sure. If not as yourself, then as Vincent Charles Gerard. What is this? This is your big surprise. You, I said before that you won't kill me and I was right. You say my habits would suit you, it won't. You are a crook. Things went wrong with me. And I said it with bullets and got away with it. Until they got one of my men and they found information which that fool was supposed to burn. This is my pack, a pack bag, and I'm ready to clear off. This is a bag, alright? And this is a gun, alright? What is this nonsense? This is a fake disguise, fake mustache and what not. Do you believe me? No. <laughs> a fool, trust me, come with me, we can work together, I can use you. Um, okay. Then come with me, don't waste your time. I have got a man, man on the main road who will ring a bell when he sees the police. Come with me. But how do I know you are telling the truth? Oh, look for yourself. Come with me. Alright, as you say. Hello? <laughs> I cannot arrange for you. Yes, I must know. Yes, I expect I'll still be here, but you mustn't count on that. Right, in 10 minutes. Right home. Goodbye. Why? This is a surprise, mister. I'm pleased. I'm glad that you're pleased to see me. I don't think you'll be pleased for long. This is all very melodramatic. This is all very melodramatic. Not very original, perhaps, but... Trying to be calm, eh? And, uh, nonchalant is your word, I think. Thanks a lot. You'll soon stop being smart. I'll make you proud. Put those paws up. I want to know a few things. Well, I know everything. I'll be glad to answer. But before that, I'd like to change my position. You might be comfortable, but I'm not. Uh, no funny business. Now, let's have a nice little talk about yourself. At last, the sympathetic audience. Well, I'll tell you the story of my life, how I got stolen by the gypsies, gypsies. and how at the age of 32 I find myself in this little... Keep it to yourself and just answer my questions. Now, do you live here alone? And if I don't answer... You don't want to get hurt now, do you? Well, I think good sense is shown more in the ability to avoid pain than in the mere desire to do so. What do you think, Mr. Uh, Never mind my name. I like yours better, Mr. Gerard. What are your Christian names? Vincent Charles. 
Good. Do you run a car? No. Don't lie. I know you run a car. You're dealing with a smart person here. Be careful, wise guy. Are you American? Are you American? Or is that literally just a clever imitation? Look, this girl is no toy and I can hurt you and not kill you and still get my answers. Of course. Of course. If you put it like that, I'll be glad to assist you. Yes, I do own a car. It's in the garage around the corner. Now you've started to come to your senses. Good. Do you do a lot of people come around here? Very rarely. Surprisingly, a few people do take the trouble to visit me. There's the baker and the green grocer, and yeah, the milkman is not quite charming, but no, not so interesting as yours, sir. I happen to know that you do not see tradespeople. You seem to have taken quite a considerable amount of trouble. You do know a lot about me. Tell me about yourself. You've been so, you've been so modest. I can tell you plenty. You think, you think you're being smart? But I've got brains and I use them. That's how I have come where I have. And where precisely have you got? It wasn't so difficult to break into this little cottage. If you knew why I break in your little cottage, you would be surprised. And trust me. It wouldn't be a pleasant surprise. But you figure it so largely, it's quite understandable. By the way, what particular line of crime do you embrace? Or are you a specialist? I am a specialist. My special specialty is jewel robbery. And your car will do me a treat. Exactly. I'm far from why between wise of X. Uh, between wise in this essence. So are the cops. I can retire nicely here for a while. You mean to live with me? You have been not invited. Oh, but you won't be long here. So I didn't take the trouble to ask you. Sandra, what do you mean? That's your big surprise. I'm going to kill you. A little harsh, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll be very sorry to do so. I really do fancy you. You know, it's just got to be done. Why add murders to your crime? <laughs> I've already been chased by the cops for murder. And if I kill you, they cannot hang me twice, can they? I mean it. You have nothing to lose. But what have you to gain? I have freedom to gain. I cannot go to places with my own identity. But I can go places by being Vincent Charles Gerard. In most melodramas, the villain is foolish enough to delay the killing. <laughs>